hi guys very good afternoon to you hope you're doing great so I'm here with another video and this time I'm again going to surprise you because we have got a very interesting question over here and it is I'm so glad that uh, this question was uh, asked to me and uh, you know it's always good to have these great questions and it always you know gives a great feeling when you actually uh, execute uh, you know executes on such issues and you end up getting something new in Excel alright so this is a question uh, I have prepared a dummy, uh, this dummy data in order to uh, save my time so uh, this is a data uh, which one of uh, this a person who wrote me an email and he has given me this sample and he said that he has uh, uh, the company and you know there are a number of headers uh, thereafter but one header was there as a turnover so I added uh, employee and year header uh, from my side uh, in order to make it a you know data looks uh, real data <coughs> so so the problem with him is this that he has this companies which are already sorted right and if it is not sorted of course you can sort it by simply going to the data and sort uh, option but the problem with this is that what he wants to do is he wants to create a space after every company whenever the company name changes what he wants to have is he wants to have a you know something like this right so he has these companies maybe somewhere around I think 20,000 and uh, so what he's doing is um, he's doing it manually because he doesn't know the VBA right so through VBA it can be done very easily but you really don't have to be a VBA coder in case you know uh, just in case if you uh, are supposed to do uh, these kind of uh, things right VBA knowing VBA is always good of course it can do wonders to your Excel but at the same time if you don't know it you can do it even without the VBA so I'm gonna tell you this tip and watch out this tip you know you might have not used it you might have not heard it ever but yes that's a very nice tip and uh, I'm so actually glad that I'm sharing this with you and I'm sure um, somewhere you know in your personal uh, work or maybe in official work you can take the benefit of this uh, video so this is how what we're gonna do so you got the question right we need to create a empty space empty row after every company wherever the company changes you need to create a space so what you can do is I'm gonna cover two things for you you know one is uh, the question to uh, with the answer to this question which he asked me um, he wrote me an email and the second thing is again what if you want to have the total of these companies you know like ABC total what is the AD ABC total uh, in terms of its turnover what is the Amazon and blue cart you know total so I know that a lot of guys uh, would say that the pivot is a good option yeah pivot is a good option but uh, you know the thing is that why do you want to create another pivot when you can actually do it in this simple table right so let's start with this you select the data right and when you select the data um, underneath this data menu tab you need to click on the subtotal now subtotal is in itself is a very good function which I'm not uh, I'm not gonna cover in this uh, video because that's entirely a different thing but yes if you don't know the subtotal that's fine but if you know the subtotal that's very good so you click on this subtotal now subtotal uh, you know this gives you a lot of uh, options what do you want to do so I want to let's say uh, sum. you know I want to sum the turnover of each company so what I can do is uh, you know this at each change in I'll not change this I'll you know this this has all my headers so I really not interested in changing it I'll keep it as a company because I need the company you know some of the turnover uh, some for, for each these companies in terms of their uh, turnover so I'll keep this on and uh, replace current subtotal if you have any current uh, top uh, subtotal if you already have some total uh, for some other feed then yes it, it says that replace it so I don't have it so not a problem I'll not uncheck this let it be there that's the by default option summary below data it has to be checked please ensure that right so by default it is going to be there but just go through it before you know pressing ok so add subtotal to where yes obviously I would want to add the total to the turnover because turnover is something which I'm interested in I can't sum the year that doesn't make any sense right that's ridiculous you want to sum the years right what sense I mean I never <laughs> uh, came across any data where you want to sum the years right so anyways so turnover is something which I want to sum and against these companies that is my this over here company so I what I'll do is I'll press ok you see this did you ever think of this option without pivot this is quite nice I would say you know 
you can even bold it by using the filter just filter all the contents by using uh, you know filter contains total and uh, you will have all these um, under the filter range and you can even color them right so that's the first thing which is an additional bonus for you in this video that's not something which I'm gonna do because that's not what student asked he asked for a blank row right so what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm gonna simply filter this option and um, what I'll do is again that's a filter I assume that you know the filters you know how to use the filters so this text filter contains what it contains it should contain total right so I'll end up getting all the totals of the companies now what I want to do is just select all these companies and press the delete button right and then remove the filter alt D F S is the shortcut key to come out of the filter now see this data that's what he actually wanted wherever you have this company name changing you know the company name is changing here so you have the blank row here right so that's the that's that's that was the requirement so what I need to do is now I don't have I don't need these groupings so I can simply go here and I can actually uh, uh, I mean go to the subtotal not group or ungroup least that's a uh, different thing so you don't have to go there so just remove all just click on this option right you really don't need anything right so yeah so this is how your this output is there and uh, you can you know execute your work accordingly right so I hope this um, answers your question and in case if you want to know something else do let me know do ask me on the same email and uh, for people who are watching this uh, yes I am sure that you like this video so guys if you like the video please click on don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to uh, you know uh, give me your that one important like so that's my email address uh, before I wrap up uh, you can write me an email in case if you have any questions or if you want to subscribe it please let me know about it I also provide uh, basic uh, intermediate advanced Excel uh, coaching online and yes VB is also something which I teach to my students right so thank you so much stay happy and have a good learning I'll meet you soon in my next video alright bye bye guys take care